This is pre-recorded because I'd probably talk too much if I was going to go live. But today has been another good day. Now, <clears throat> now I've got to be careful what I say because live court cases and that sort of stuff. But the people who, I'll say this, are people, do you know what I really feel? Do you know what I really feel? I, I feel like I'm undervalued. And it's beginning to piss me off a little bit because I'm fucking good at what I do. I get better results. I don't get better results. My service users get better results than what I do, than what solicitors would get them. Following the blueprint, the family court blueprint for success. And today was further proof. Today was further proof that it was, that it works, especially because it was difficult because family court, as we know, brings out the worst of everyone, everyone for everything. And when you're being attacked, when you're being attacked with lies, when you're being attacked with, well, it's maybe not even lies, it's when you're being attacked with a person's truth, that's their truth. And you're like, well, I don't understand how that makes sense. And they're throwing shit at you. And you just want to say something. And the service user today was like, writing down on the piece. Now can I say it? Now, nope, 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 nope. He said nothing. He said nothing, nothing. And that was a good thing to do because the, the judge had his back. And the reason the judge had his back was very clear because he's been honest. He's been open. He's been humble. He's made sacrifices, he's compromised, and because he's done all of this stuff, he's been pragmatic, and because he's done all of this stuff, he's done all of this stuff in a in a selfless way, and that means that, funny enough, he's being child-focused. He's not entertaining the argument, he's sidestepping the argument. Arguments coming his way, he wants to react. No, we don't react. We sidestep. We don't engage, because we, once we engage, we become part of the problem. And I'm getting frustrated, because... Oh, I can't say it, but it's beginning to, like, like, I should charge more money, really, I think, to be honest with you, but I can't, and I won't, and I will, well, I will do one day, because one day I'm going to be, people are going to stop saying, oh, Jason, maybe he's not really very good at what he does, and slag him off, and actually take note of the fucking positive things that I do. The amount of people, this is what really pisses me off, the amount of people that I've helped over the years, and I don't help people to score points, or to hold a points bag and say, oh, well, I've done this for you, can you got to do this for me now? I do nothing, I do nothing with expectations of return. I've got a guy that's making a noise. He wouldn't have contact if it wasn't for me. He would have fuck all if it wasn't for me. And that's with so many cases, so many cases. But yet they undervalue me. They don't think that I've done that for them. People are just fucking stupid. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. I just think people are naive. People think it's a fluke. No, it's not a fluke. It's not a fluke. Come on now, how can 82% be a fluke? And it's even better than that. It's even, it's not, it's, recent stats are even better than that. And that's because the people are doing what they say they're going to do. They are owning their shit. They are, all this person had to do today, all this person had to do, all the other side had to do today was keep their mouth shut. Just keep their mouth shut and say yes. But do you know what? That's what family court does to you. It brings the worst out of you. It stops you from seeing what's in front of your very face and you just see the worst, you see the negative. And I'm going to piss a lot of people off now. Family court is not biased against men. It is not biased against men. Family court is not biased against men. People will say, yes, it is. Everyone in the world says, yes, it is. But it's not. You are fucking being victims. Imagine this. Your child is at risk and your ex-partner is with a new bloke. Would you want that your child to be around that, that bloke or would you want that child to be protected? Oh, you want that child to be protected. It's not the court's fault that you've got allegations made against you from your crazy ex-wife, ex-missus. That's your crazy ex-missus. Because allegations are made, they have to be heard. That's the process. And yes, we get treated like we're guilty because 97% of the time we are. And a lot of that 97% of the time, probably 95% of that time, 95% of those 97% of people don't own up to their shit. So then because they're not owning up to their shit and they can't see where they've gone wrong, they're like, oh, well, they can't see where they've gone wrong. So... They can't put things right. I'm not going to reward them. Oh, that makes them biased. No, it doesn't make them biased. It means you're fucking stupid. It means you're fucking, you, you've got a narcissist, you've got, you've, got, you've got too much anger and hate inside you that you can't, subs you, you can't drop it and let it subside. We've all, you've got to be angry. You have to be angry. It's part of the process. It's part of the grieving process. But to stay angry? My people go to court with good doing finding the facts. Do we ever yeah, go for finding the facts? We don't want to do finding the facts. We know it's just a time-wasting exercise. But we'll do it. And then we we'll, then we retract our um, then we, we we retract our 
our statements. We say, oh, I'm going to do it. If it's going to keep her happy, you're going to keep the peace. We want to keep the peace. We want to be peacemakers. We want to give love. They can't fight love. No one can fight love. No one. Look at my fucking eyes. Look at that. I've got so much work to do now as well. And I've just got home. I do apologise to those who are supposed to call that I haven't called. It's late. If you're seeing this now, then my phone's on. I'd much rather you didn't call me because I've got lots of typing to do and emails to catch up on. And potentially caught on Wednesday that I didn't realise I had because the court hearing paperwork come through today. And that's the other thing. Look, I, I'm, I'm working for free for people, but that can't continue because people need to understand. <laughs> people need to understand that your cases are not just something that I can just... It takes time. And that means I'm working time on stuff not being paid when there's people who... When you'd be paying thousands to, to solicit for it. And I'm being too nice. But I won't stop being nice, so will I? It's just how I am. It's just how I am. I can't help it. It's my purpose. It's my purpose. People say to me, oh, Jason, stop being so nice. You've got to stop being so nice. You're never going to be successful because you're so nice. Well, I'll just keep being nice and I won't be successful. But you just got home. Good day. Whoever's given this poor person advice, I think I know who it is, but slam dunk, slam dunk, slam dunk. I can't even say much more than that right now, but slam dunk. And yet again, the Apple What's It was accurate in his predictions and the behaviours that the service user has maintained throughout patients dignity integrity is paying dividends now and to anyone that i'm helping if i'm suggesting something that doesn't mean you have to do it but then don't moan at me when it all goes wrong afterwards because some people do and that's just frustrating anyway peace and love lila's glove until next time tomorrow night i think tuesday something from live we're doing live tomorrow night anyway thank you very much buongiorno well done today and if you've had a success, if, if by any chance there's stretch of imagination, you need some help with family court shit, right? And you want someone that's going to give you some good help, not just let you go into court with your, just don't get me started. You pay, you lot, you lot are paying people stuff. You be you lot are paying people money to do a really shit job. And people might, you might have, there's a reason why people are slagging me off. And that's not because I'm shit at what I do. The people who don't like me because of, or something out of my control has happened and they're blaming me anyway. To try and hide the fact that they're fucking touching kids. I had someone the other day on, on Instagram who was trolling me and I had to just do a truth bomb on him. And that's what I'm going to start doing. I'll say to him, I said, look, you want to play this game? I've got the truth. I've got evidence. I can share it. I don't give a fuck. Well, I do because I wouldn't. And I had, if, I, if, I, if I was going to do that, then I would have done it by now to everyone who's, who likes to slag me off. But again, I'm too nice. I'm too nice. And, and that's what I was talking about just then about not knowing the age of legal consent. But these people all hang around together. They're all in the same group. So, and I'm not going to say any names, but you know, they can deny it all they want. But that's why they don't have contact with their kids. That's my fault too. I'm so grateful I've got an ex-wife who blames me for everything. Anyway, until next time, I'm definitely going to go now because I've got work to do. And I've got to feed the cat a sausage. I've got to cook it a sausage because it's a nightmare getting to Portsmouth today. Nightmare getting home. I had to get a taxi home from Guildford. So I got to Guildford. I got a bus from Woken to Guildford. And then, guess what happened? There's no but there's no trains from Guildford. I was like, fuck this shit. I had to pay for a taxi, which I probably shouldn't have done. But I needed to get home at some point tonight. And then my phone went out of charge. So they couldn't, they wanted to fucking have a go at me when I got to Watford. Because my phone wouldn't switch on, so I couldn't give them a ticket. It's accidentally on purpose because the ticket only went from Waterloo to where I was going today, Portsmouth. But then the... It's not my fault the phone went out. The battery. People, people, people. Until next time. Stay strong, be happy, give love, show respect, be humble. You're going to be good.